Hey, this is Pierce with Pierce B Designs, and I just wanted to share a video of an example of bringing in a plat and starting a base plan with Dynascape. So I'm going to go to Quick Start, and my go to drawing page is 24 by 36 inches in 8 scale. Click OK, it brings me to that sheet size. Now I need to find the plat that I have pulled off of county records and saved in the client's file. So I click on imaging down here, top right, insert a raster image. This is where you go to bring in any image that you want to put on your drawing page. So I know that I've saved it in this. There's the plat. It is a PDF, but you can also bring it into Dynascape as a JPEG going to convert it and I know it is not to scale right now so that's what we're going to do next and to zoom in I'm going to hit the shift and use the scroll bar on my mouse scroll up zoom in push holding shift push down on the scroll bar moves it around now I have my plat that I want to trace and I need to scale it go to revise Revise an existing raster image to active drawing scale. So I'm going to use this line right here, which is 120 feet. Collins plat, 120 feet. Enter. Now all I have to do, hold my mouse, I'm going to left click. Hold it here, left click, and boom, it just scaled it. So that line is now 120 feet on my page, and I can um, check it too. We go to our measure tool, and let's see, this one says 20 feet. Left click. All right, do you see how my, it's going like this? This means my constraints are on. I'm gonna turn off inference too. Constraint, set to polar. I'm gonna go ortho right now, which is horizontal and vertical. Polar adds in your 45 degree angle. Uh, this says 24.8, so that's a little bit longer than I want it to be. Let's see what we did here. Let's see, this is 34.2. All right, so that means maybe it's off a little, so let's do it again. Okay, 120. Oh, my constraints hurt. Go back here. All right, now let's try it again. See how we did. So measure, let's just check our scale here, 20 feet, great. Okay, so now I have it scaled and I want to trace the property line. So click Dynascape and I want the layer to be property. So that's the line, hit my line tool. And here you can actually enter the exact dimension you want your line to be if you know it. So I'm gonna start with 120, so the same dimension here. So I'm going to start with left click. I want this angle. That's really the reason I do this is so you get these exact angles. And next one is 105.53 according to the plot. So left click. We have another 120 here. Left click. Okay, now here it gets a little tricky because this is curved. This is on a cul-de-sac. So I'm going to hit this reset button so there's no dimension here. And now I'm gonna hit close polyline. See, and now it's closed this shape. So now I'm going to right click, closes out the shape, hit escape. And now I click on this and it gives me these handles. So now I can pull it to match it up to that angle, hit escape again. Now I have my property lines. So, and I'm just going to go through. Now I want to trace the driveway and the sidewalk. So I'm going to go to Drive Road, go to my line tool again, zoom in, shift scroll bar, and I'm going to just trace this. And I'm going to come back and make that curved right there too. So just trace the driveway. I'm just left clicking until I'm done with this. So left click and now right click in it. Um, ends that function. Hit escape so that I can grab it. Zoom in. 
pull these to match this curve. And now, and so the house, I'm just gonna trace in a temp layer because I have the exact dimensions of the house that I took on site. So for this, I really just wanna do this in order to get the location of the house on the property within these property lines. So, and you notice I moved it back to ortho constraints because this house is a right angle on the plat, which is great, which helps you a lot. Um, so just go there. And again, same with the porch and the deck. I have exact dimensions of that that I took on site, so I'm gonna enter those later. So I've gotten all the information I need off of this. Oh, except I'm gonna use this for our north arrow. Okay, let's go to figures. It's already set up. So title, block, accessories. I like this north arrow just personally. So I'm gonna go to this line. Oh, whoops, see constraints are on. That's why it won't give me the angle I want. None, there we go. So I know that this is the north arrow. Okay, there we go. Left click, right click, and I know it's not in the right location. We're gonna move it later. I just wanted to get that angle right there. So now I want to position my house, my property within my drawing page, which ended up way down here. So we just need to get rid of the plat. So go back to imaging. Now bottom right, raster list. So this is gonna be the list of all the images you've brought into your um, drawing. We only have this one so far. And I may need it later if I've forgotten anything, so I don't wanna delete it. I'm not gonna remove it. Just uncheck this box that says visible. Click okay, bam, it's gone. So, and I, I'm gonna move it, but I don't wanna copy it. So uncheck the copy button right here. This is just your general grab tool to, so I'm gonna do that. Now right click left click left click there you go okay and i know that this is going to go on the title block eventually over here ish so kind of move that over here so that is how you get your house and your property line from the plat onto your drawing page and i think on the next video i will do the title block